Hello. In this video, I'm going to provide an overview of the Grignard reaction. The Grignard reaction is a reaction of an organomagnesium halide. Uh, and that has sort of the generic form RMGX. So this is a Grignard reagent named after Victor Grignard, uh, a chemist who discovered this reaction in the early 1900s uh, and then received a Nobel Prize for the work. Uh, more sort of generic name again is organomagnesium halide uh, because R can be a wide range of things and X can be a couple of different things. And uh, these Grignard reagents can react with carbonyl electrophiles, ketones, aldehydes, and others. Uh, we'll actually focus on ketones and aldehydes for a little bit. There's a video coming up about esters. And these Grignard reagents are nucleophiles. So they react with carbonyl electrophiles to form new... Uh, bonds at the carbonyl carbon. And because our nucleophile is a hydrocarbon group, we're actually forming a new carbon carbon bond. Oops. Uh, unlike other nucleophilic addition reactions of aldehyde and ketones, this produces a, a alkoxide intermediate that then needs to be needs to be protonated by some acid source. To generate the alcohol and the structure of the alcohol is going to depend uh, on the R group in the Grignard reagent and whatever else is on the carbonyl electrophile. You know, we've now synthesized, this reaction synthesizes an, uh, an alcohol with a new carbon-carbon bond. Uh, let's look really briefly uh, at a more specific example. So let's use, say, uh, ethyl magnesium chloride. We're going to react it with... Let's react it with uh, this aldehyde here. Sorry, I couldn't make up my mind initially. The Grignard reagent is a nucleophile, and it's nucleophilic at carbon. The carbon-magnesium bond is polar, but magnesium is less electronegative than carbon. So you get nucleophilic attack from the carbon. I like to draw these alkoxide intermediates in this, this plus shape kind of thing. And uh, and then this reaction is going to need some kind of acidic aqueous workup. Uh, and in general, uh, a solution of aqueous acid is added. Uh, though you will sometimes see some sources show uh, just water being added, but, but generally acid is, is preferable. It destroys any unreacted Grignard reagent, and it destroys uh, any unreacted magnesium and some other leftover stuff from the practical consideration. Uh, in the next several videos, I want to talk to you about uh, how these... Uh, Grignard reagents are formed, some considerations for practical considerations for how the reaction is done, uh, the scope of the reaction with different kinds of carbonyl electrophiles, uh, and then and then wrap up by talking about the reaction of, or talking about the utility of Grignard reagents in the synthesis of organic compounds. Uh, and it's this new carbon carbon bond feature of the reaction that's really, really the most important. So stay tuned uh, and thanks for watching.